Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will learn how to set up RabbitMQ on Docker. So let's start the video. RabbitMQ is one of the most widely deployed open source message broker. Now you may ask, what is message broker? So a message broker is a software that enables application system and services to communicate with each other and exchange information by translating message between them. So RabbitMQ helps to decouple the process and the service within a system. So let's see how to set up RabbitMQ for dev environment using Docker. You have already installed Docker on your Windows operating system. If you need some help to install Docker on your Windows, link to the video is in the description. So, once your Docker is installed, open your favorite web browser and search for Docker Hub. Click on the very first link which is hub.docker.com and over here search for RabbitMQ. You will see very first result as RabbitMQ which is Docker's official image. Click on it and scroll down and you will see some name with management. I am not going to use beta or RC version. So I will copy this name. Now we have the image name. So to pull this image in your desktop docker, we need command prompt. Open the command prompt by clicking on the windows icon and search for CMD. Once your command prompt is open, I will write docker pull rabbitmq and the image name and hit enter. This will allow you to pull the docker image to your system. Now to run this image and configure the port, we need to run a second docker command which is docker run hyphen d then the host name which is rabbit and then name I will give the name as rabbit server then hyphen p these are the port number again I will mention hyphen p with some other port number and then rabbit mq and the image name. So over here host name is the name which we are giving to rabbit mq server. Name is for the docker UI. P is for port number. So the first port number is your system port number which is mapped with the docker image port number. But over here we have two port number mapping. So 15672 is the port for web UI and 5672 is the port for rabbit MQ broker and at last is the image name. So let's execute it. So it gives me a number and runs without any error. Let's go to the docker UI and see. So in the container section, I can see a container. This is the same name which we gave in the command. Now let's go to the web browser and check the RabbitMQ web UI. Localhost 15672 which is the port number. The default username and password for RabbitMQ is guest. I am able to log in to the RabbitMQ UI. So I am able to set up RabbitMQ on Docker using Docker image. If you want to learn more about RabbitMQ, message me in the comment section so that I can make more videos on RabbitMQ. So friends, we are done with today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.